Hello there dear YouTube friends. In this video we'll be looking at one of the most popular UI trends of 2021 which is called Mesh Gradient. So without further ado let me explain on what is Mesh Gradient in depth. So Mesh Gradient is a combination of more than one gradient of uh, color which are usually placed together in a canvas to form a decorative background fill. So, um, Mesh Gradient is indeed a stunning way of displaying it as a background fill for your landing pages UI, uh, mobile app UI, and web apps UI, and yeah, etc. So let me walk you guys through some of the best examples of landing pages where the Mesh Gradient design is being used as the primary design theme for this subsequent landing pages design that I'm going to show you guys now. So first of all, we have this really stunningly looking uh, landing page by the way it's a design uh, designed by one of the designers in dribble dribble.com so it's you can see that this is the literally this is the landing page of a of a of, a, of any of a website for payment website so as you can see here this is the uh, background and the fill has been uh, used as a mesh gradient here so they're like, they're like other combination of uh, gradient colors for example I can literally see an orange here and there's pink and then, and then there's blue and then there's light blue here and as you can it does uh, uh, go back goes back to its definition it's, it's a combination of more than one gradient of color which are usually yeah placed in a canvas to form a decorative background field so let me uh, walk you guys through in another example so yeah there you have there you go this is a another example of a uh, dribble art by uh, one of the dribble, dribble artists designers UI UX designer so as you can see here this is a uh, landing page header the header part the hero section so as you can see here the background is also has been used uh, the mesh gradient has been used in this part of this uh, uh, hero section so I can see here green here red purple and over here as well you can see purple red green and yeah it's like the design is uh, I mean, it can be you can, you can create can go to your creativity and on what I mean can be used as any di different colors as you as you would like to utilize in your projects. So let me just walk you guys with other real life example. This is just designs. Let's say uh, uh, let's have a look on a website that are actually using this kind of mesh gradient. So let me guys walk through to another website. Yeah, yeah, it's Grammarly by the way. So yeah, this is Grammarly's um, landing page by the way. This is just the yeah, landing page and as you can see here, they are utilizing the same concept which I've just told you, explained to you, explaining to you just now, which is mesh gradient. So as you can see here, there's a blue, uh, I mean, there's bluish turquoise here, and then there's blue, then there's purple, light purple here, and then there's turquoise. And this is just an example of uh, the real life example of websites that are using um, the mesh gradient uh, design theme. So yeah, that's that's another one. If let's let's go to another website, uh, which is yep, that's another website here. I can't say it. So this is another website which I usually come here to to get my icons and illustrations, photos, and yeah, stuff like this from this website. So as you can see here, this website have been used the same. Yeah, mesh gradient as well. So as you can see here, there's a uh, yellow, uh, purple, green, and there's blue. There's a slight blue here. So this, all these examples clearly uh, explain. I mean, like really uh, proves that mesh gradient is indeed one of the most trendiest popular UI trends of 2021. And yeah, speaking of UI trends, let's get start making one just like this, so that I can explain to you guys on how does it able to uh, really uh, make make one yeah so let's head to our Photoshop okay so there we are this is our Photoshop's uh, platform so what I just did I would like I would like to create a new file here so once I click this new file here I'll come to this thing it will be asking for your resolution of your file that you're going to uh, create which is your canvas that you like to uh, work with work on sorry 
So the, the width I have given 1280. Yeah, first of all, I had to choose international paper for then I choose 1280 for the width and the height. I would like to give uh, 720. This is for a really good uh, resolution that I would uh, recommend you guys to use when you want to design, uh, for example, like landing pages or uh, section, by the way. So just click OK once you have done chosen both of this. So this is the uh, canvas that we have just uh, created. So uh, as you can see here, I mean, I've just um, designed this uh, more like, how would you say, um, this is the uh, like title and the search bar and up search bar button which usually comes in the on almost every um, landing page ui so i'm just going to drag it here and it's going to paste it here this is going to be like the uh just, an, just a way to to make it look like this is a uh, landing page hero sections uh, design so first of all this is the foreground that we have just made here foreground so that we're gonna we're gonna work is the one that we're gonna work with is the background on the uh the, just the one that at the back of this uh, uh foreground over here so the background should be a uh, mesh gradient which is which are like a combination of gradients so we have gradient tools here and which is need to make sure that uh, sorry not this by the way what i meant was this and make sure your your preset you have to choose your, your this is the second one here the second one comes with foreground to transparent here so just make sure that you have chosen the, the second option for your gradient tool and as well as this uh, gradient preset so i would like to give it radial uh, radial uh, gradient yeah thanks for that and also and i like to make it reverse and transparency give transparency so let's just give it a test on does it how, how wait let me just go to yeah before that this, let's say this is the two of the uh, foreground that we just made what i have to do i would like to create a new layer and i like to put the layer just uh, just below the foreground so this is the foreground that we just have so this is the background layer one should be it's going to be the background okay just like this so in the background let's uh, just give it a test let's add some red here and and this is the gradient tool just gonna make it like that oh sorry you don't have to reverse it by the way just okay just uh, unselect your reverse here. We don't need reverse at this point for this uh, way. We need to unreverse it. So let's go back and try with without reversing it. Okay, that's exactly what we wanted. So let me just uh, undo it. And next up, what we have to do is that we would like to have a proper set of uh, colors. So in that case, I what I've just uh, have in my uh, browser here is actually a color palette which I just uh, found it in the internet from the, from the website called uh, coolers so yeah don't worry I'll just uh, link this uh, this palette in the description so let me just start with this red color over here so in order to just select this color just click on this copy hex and go to your Photoshop and just select here and just replace your the color that we just wanted we just copied just paste it here okay co color copied and paste it here and there you go this is the color we just created and what we like to do we just um, just from here and just drag it like that there you have it that's a nice looking uh, gradient to start with and yeah, before let me uh, uh, before I uh, forgot, I need to make sure that the background, the main background of this one, to be uh, I like to give it like a, a really not so dark gray, really light. Yeah, around there. Let's give uh, F1, F1, F1. This is just to make sure that the background has some 
detail detailing all the um of the gradient that we just want we wanted to create so that's so, so that's the first uh, gradient tool that we just created which is the red color here next up let's go ahead and select the second one here this is the yellow it's kind of look like a yellowish uh gold here so it's called orange yellow trayola so copy the hex which i've just created copy it here so go to your photoshop next up just paste it in your color here there you go what we're gonna do here is next up we're gonna pull it from bottom to top just like this okay there you go there you have it this is the second color move on to the next color which is the green copy x color copy to clipboard go to your color palette here and just just paste the color here there you go that's your that's a green and let's do it here just like that in progress and there you go i like to move it a bit to the to the bottom here what i do i'm just gonna do it again but this time it's gonna i'm gonna start from here as well so that it becomes it, it and there you have it that's nice by the way and move on moving on to the last color which is the blue here just copy the x and photoshop click here just replace the color that we just created here and the last one should be oh, i'm going to put it here around here okay and there you have it okay this is your uh, gradient tool we just created here what we can do we um, okay there you have it this is your background here we just created here just like this and what i can do is that i would like to reduce the opacity because it might uh, the color should be very dimly lit by the way so what i do i just gonna reduce opacity to to a certain level of well not so light by this but i'll try to give it like around yeah around 85 would do by the way okay and yeah if you have uh, better ideas of color color choices yeah you can go for it and by the way and this is just my example of uh, just want to show you guys on how you can do exactly like how the real life uh, uh, like in the real uh, cases like that I've just shown you guys now so thank you guys for watching that's the end of this tutorial and yeah I mean yeah if you guys have any uh, uh, suggestions on how how was this tutorial and yeah on yeah you can also suggest me on what should I be uh, teach you guys on my next video so that you can be the one who would uh gets to choose what you would like to get taught by through me and yeah thank you guys for watching again and yeah hope we'll meet in the next uh coming videos and yeah peace